community welcome back to another episode of Arby's Vinyl Corner and I can't tell you how excited I am to introduce to you a fantastic box set it was just released yesterday it just came in it's hot and fresh from the press I'm talking about Bruce Dickinson's Solar Works box set and again I can't tell you how excited I am I have waiting for ages for something like this to be released uh, recently when this Iron Maiden box set came out uh, and all the albums of Iron Maiden were re-released I was thinking and I think I even wrote it down somewhere on Facebook is now it's about time that Bruce Dickinson is gonna release his solo material on vinyl because I was so anxious to get that on vinyl you won't believe it and uh, so right after I wrote it down somewhere I bumped into this advert on Iron Maiden's website uh, where they announced the release of this box set and I went like oh I went through the roof so happy I was I think finally to be able to get his fantastic body of work uh, on vinyl because uh, Bruce Dixon really is one of my biggest idols in the heavy metal uh, genre and uh, so I really really wanted to have his albums and I know some of these albums are around there uh, like uh, Boss Picasso or Accident of Birth they were actually released on vinyl back in the day but these are you know very rare at this moment and if you bump into a copy of let's say accident of birth prices go up like four five six hundred dollars and no matter how how much I want an album I'm not never ever ever gonna pay such a ridiculous amount of money for a single vinyl album uh, so when this was announced again I was completely uh, I was so happy you, you won't believe it so finally it came in yesterday Bruce Dickinson's solo works and um, I'm, I'm, I didn't uh, listen to all the albums yet I just spinned balls to Picasso and I can tell you the sound on that one is fantastic um, and uh, it actually looks pretty cool and what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm not gonna make it a very lengthy video I'm just gonna show you each album and uh, what's in here and I'll tell you a little bit about the pros and the cons of this okay so first of all let, let us take a look I just kept the seal on so it might be a little bit glare uh, but uh, this is the front cover uh, really cool all these um, avatars uh, representing the six albums of Bruce Dickinson and uh, the title here this is the spine it's a, and here's the flip side. The album consists of six albums. Those are all the solo albums which were done by Bruce Dickinson. And they all come as a gatefold. And uh, most of them are even double LPs. Um, let me say, no, half of them are double LPs. Uh, actually, uh, Tattoo Millionaire, Boston Picasso, and Tyranny of Souls, they are single uh, albums. And uh, Skunk Works, Accent of Birth, and uh, The Chemical Wedding are actually double albums. So the set comes with nine vinyl records. So this is the box where all the LPs are in. You can actually also buy the albums separate. So if you only like one or two of these and you don't need the rest, you can also buy the album separately. But, you know, for the price, because it's really, it's not a difficult set. Uh, sorry, it's not a uh, expensive set. So for the price alone, you don't, you know, you, you, you must not leave this behind and just get it. If you are a true Iron Maiden fan and Bruce Dickens fan, you just need to get the box set. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, the only album that I had so far um, of Bruce Dickinson that on vinyl, I have everything on CD, but on vinyl was the Tattoo Millionaire. I'm just going to show you this for reference purposes only because I'm talking about some of the cons first. And the cons on this is that I think that the print on each album is a little bit grainy. Um, it, I, I feel that it could have been much better. Uh, it's just a little con. Uh, it's still a wonderful release, but the original is much sharper. The pictures are much sharper. But the original release of this came as a single sleeve. It wasn't a gateful, a single, single one, where it has an inner sleeve with um, the lyrics on the inner sleeve printed and on the flip side, a big picture. 
and then you had the vinyl which is pretty much the same label as what they used on the re-release except that the re-release is not e EMI but is on his uh, own label so I'm gonna show you the first one so this is then the the one that's in the box set so as you can see I don't know if you can see it but you can see that actually it's 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 a little little grainy also if you look at the spine it actually is a little grainy in the flip side here I'm just gonna put them both together so you can maybe see the differences it's a little bit more red here than in the original album from this is the only album I can show you to compare both to because uh, this is the only one I had on vinyl so far. Um, so there you go. Now, well, I showed you the inner sleeve, but what they did is they put the inner sleeve and the lyrics on the gatefold inside. And then here is another con. The con here is the inner sleeve they use now is the same on all albums. So every album in this box set has the same inner sleeve with on one side some lyric notes about Bruce Dickinson's solo career and an introduction to the albums and on the other side just a summation of the six albums that were released in the box set or which you can buy separately. Now this is a miss out for me because what I rather had seen were inner sleeves with pictures for example from the same period as the album was released or maybe some pictures of the singles and 7 and the 12 inches that were released in conjunction with the albums maybe some more background information about the album itself uh, that would have been amazing but instead of that they just chose to put the same inner sleeve in all the albums with just a little exception but that I'm going to show you later on because double albums have some extra uh, pictures as well but they use this one on each and every album the vinyl is black so I'm happy with that it's not uh, picture disc or something of that shit it's really nice clean black vinyl and again I just listened to Boss Picasso and that one really sounds fantastic and there you go so this is a uh, tattooed millionaire it's uh, the first solo album he did in between the seventh son of the seventh son album and the no prayer for the dying album of Iron Maiden and uh, this was actually where Bruce Dickinson also worked together with Janik Gersh who eventually would become Iron Maiden's guitarist. Uh, Tattoo Millionaire, straightforward hard rock album, is completely different than what Iron Maiden did before. It was really um, uh, more like a radio friendly hard rock album and it has some great tunes here. One of my favorites on this one is Son of a Gun, a really great song. Anyway, this is the debut album. And then we're gonna continue to the, the next one. This is his first solo album after he left Iron Maiden. This is 1995 Skunk Works. Uh, sorry, uh, my mistake. Boss to Picasso. And Boss to Picasso, actually, this one was the first album that I ever heard of Bruce Dickinson solo. This came halfway in the 90s, and uh, I was just becoming a big fan of Iron Maiden, uh, which were at that point uh, working with Blaze Bailey. And uh, this was the latest release back then when I became a fan of Iron Maiden. And when I bought this, I was immediately hooked with the great uh, music on this album. It's completely different than anything Iron Maiden did before or Bruce Dis Dickinson did before, but at the same time, it's just one of his classic albums. So it's a really cool uh, album. Uh, this one comes as a gatefold, and all the lyrics of the songs are on the inside of the gatefold. And like I told you before, the inner sleeve of this is just the same again. So here are the liner notes, the introduction to the albums, and a summation of the other six albums. Uh, talking about uh, more cons of this is uh, I would have liked to have seen a box set that contained all Bruce Dickinson albums, not just the, 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 the solo uh, studio albums, but also the live albums. Because of course, you know, uh, they, he always also released three uh, live records, which were Live at the Marquee, Live in Studio A, and Scream for Me in Brazil. It would have been amazing if those three would also be in this package because then it would be complete and maybe an extra album with the uh, B-sides and rarities uh, like they released on the um, on their remastered CDs back in the uh, 2000s. But anyway, this is Boss Picasso. Again, uh, I think the sleeves are a little grainy, but it's just, you know, it's just a little bit. It's not really a big deal. It's really a cool album just to have it on vinyl 
to me. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this. Bruce Dickinson's experimental album. This is Skunk Works. Uh, actually, Skunk Works should have been the name of the band. Uh, he wanted to call his band Skunk Works because he actually he wanted he does didn't want it to be. Uh, um, he didn't want it to drive on his own name. He wanted to have a full band feeling. Um, and they recorded this album, Skunk Works. It's completely different than anything he ever done before. And you heard me saying that before, but if you take the first three solo albums, like um, Tattooed Millionaires, Balti Picasso, and then Skunk Works, they're all three, they're very, very different. And then even the next one, it would, would also be, very, again, very different because there he would return to his metal roots. But this is really, this is experimental. This is more like uh, 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 alternative rock, uh, if you say so. But this is um, an album which is not for ev everybody. Uh, it's very different, but it has some great tunes anyway. Um, again, I'm very happy to have this. This is the inner sleeve, uh, sorry, the gatefold inside. Pictures of his band. And then again, disc one is the same. It has the same lyrics, the same... And then the other side is a summation of all the records. But uh, this time it's a black background instead of a blue background. Then if we take the other one, that's a little bit different because this actually has the lyrics. All right, so at least it's not the same in the sleeve as the other ones. Oh, great album. Different, but great. Well, the next one is my... Um, most favorite Bruce Dickinson album of all and is even one of my most favorite heavy metal albums of all times. I often say if I if they would uh, disbanded me to a uh, island uh, where I have to take one album with me, one metal album, it probably would be this one. This is Accident of Birth. Fantastic album. Artwork by the way is done by Derek Ricks which is also responsible for a lot of the artwork of Iron Maiden stuff. But you already knew that, right? So this is Bruce Dickinson, Accident of Bird. Best album he ever did. Fantastic heavy metal. Flip side, it's just amazing. Guys, I'm so happy to have this one on vinyl. This one, the original of this one, you know, if you bump into it, it goes for like four or five or even six hundred dollars. Crazy prices. Inside, Bruce Dickinson. Going back to his heavy metal roots. This is a pure heavy metal album. And uh, again, this time it's a red background, but it's the same lyrics notes, lyrical notes, and the same summation of the albums. The other one has a nice red background. And then here is the clown again. Um, the vinyl, again, it's black with this nice red label on one side and on the other side we see the alternative artwork because there is also a CD has also been released with this artwork somewhere around but this is the original artwork I'm so happy to have this this is this is one I'm gonna spin a crazy lot really and actually when I'm done finishing this video I'm gonna give this a spin fantastic album the next one is chemical wedding again chemical wedding is also if Accident of Bird wouldn't be my favorite, then it would probably, this is a good second one. This is, and again, this is a fantastic heavy metal album. It's really, really good and uh, highly praised, by the way. This is uh, a fantastic album. Uh, flip side. Actually, this is uh, during his tour of The Chemical Wedding. I saw him live in concert here in Netherlands in just a very small venue with a maximal capaci capacity, capacity, of uh, like 200 people. So that was a very small venue where he was playing and it was an amazing show. And I was all the way in the front and he was like this close to me. So it's, uh, it was an amazing experience to, uh, to be there. So this is the uh, inside. And that was the last, the first time and not the last time, it was the first time I saw him solo. I saw him solo a couple of years later on a festival when he and our maiden had a sabbatical year. But, um, Right after this tour of uh, The Chemical Wedding, he would go back uh, to Iron Maiden. So, um, there you go. Inner sleeve again. 
just a plain background and then here is a band picture which is actually pretty cool these are the tribe of gypsies with Roy Z and uh, Adrian Smith was also there and as you know after this Adrian Smith would also return together with Bruce Dickinson to Iron Maiden and again here are just the same lyrical notes and the same summation of all the albums and again I think they should have done something different there there is so much material they could have printed on there the last solo album he did uh, I think it was 2005 after uh, the Dance of Death album from Iron Maiden. This is Tyranny of Souls and this actually should have been a project together with Rob Halford and Jeff Tate from Queensryche uh, but it never really came to fruit because of the busy work schedules of all three men. Uh, so Tyranny of Souls, the title track of this album, if you listen to this closely you can actually hear Bruce Dickinson imitate Jeff Tate's voice and Rob Halford's voice so because it should have been all three of them singing this one fantastic album not as good as the chemical wedding or uh, accident of birth but it's a fantastic album with some great tunes here so this is uh, Bruce Dickinson tyranny of soul again like Boston Picasso like the chemical wedding like accident of birth it was recorded and uh, produced by Roy Z who did a fantastic job of doing that they're actually both together also on the flip side. Roy Z and uh, Bruce Dickinson. Fantastic. Uh, there's again the same lyrical notes. This is a single album, it's not a double album. And again, we have a summation of all the albums. And that concludes all six albums from that amazing box set. Iron, Iron Maiden's from on lead singer Bruce Dickinson's solo work. And uh, if you don't have it, uh, I hope this video inspired you to get it. It's, uh, it's a real bargain. The price is really good. The albums are just simply fantastic and are uh, a significant part of heavy metal history. So there you go. Bruce Dickinson. Solo Works.